It's been a while since we talked about Guns N' Roses on the channel, so today I thought I'd circle back to one of my favorite bands of all time and talk about five hidden gems from Guns N' Roses. My name is Russ. This is the Infectious Groove Music Channel. Thanks for stopping by. If this is your first time here, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and uh, stick it to the algorithm by hitting the notification bell so you know when we have our three videos come out every single week. If you like what we're doing here, drop a like on the video. And if you would, please uh, join in the conversation. Leave us a comment and let me know what you think of my five songs that I picked for Guns N' Roses Hidden Gems. Now, the five songs that I picked, I think, are ones that most people haven't heard. Uh, and they're among my personal favorite Guns N' Roses songs. Uh, now, this is a band where you're working with a really small amount of ter material. They only have, depending on what you count as an album, uh, they only have about five albums worth of studio material. Uh, but in my opinion, there's still tons of stuff most people don't know by them. The first song that I would call a hidden gem by Guns N' Roses that I don't think anybody really knows is from Use Your Illusion 2, and it's a song called Breakdown. Not only uh, does it have some excellent lyrics from Axel that I don't think get anywhere near the credit that they deserve, uh, it's I don't want to say it's a country song. It's not at all. It's a rock and roll song, but it's like a bluegrass country song in a way. Uh, it's just much different sound than I think most people associate with Guns N' Roses and uh, a lot more piano work in it. Um, and it's got a brilliant uh, solo from Slash, which I know kind of goes without saying, but I, I think it's some of his best guitar work is on that track. So Breakdown from Use Your Illusion 2 is the first one that I would throw at you. Uh, the next one is from an album that is uh, Love It or Hate It, but I personally find that most people that claim that they hate this album have never actually listened to this album. And there's a song called Street of Dreams on the Chinese Democracy record. Uh, I personally like it by its original title, which was called The Blues, but in order to not confuse people, if you're going to look this song up, look for a song called Street of Dreams. This, when it starts, I feel like you're going to say, uh, oh, this is just November Rain again. It's a very piano-driven uh, ballad, but I think it's a lot harder rocking song than uh, November Rain is. And I think the lyrics are extremely personal. And for me, the guitar work on this song shows that someone besides Slash can play lead guitar in Guns N' Roses. And uh, Robin Fink's solo on this song is just absolutely stunning. And I really wish we got more uh, in the studio with Robin Fink on lead guitar. So Street of Dreams is another one I would tell you to check out. Uh, the next one, we're going back to the second lineup of the band, the Use Your Illusion lineup and Use Your Illusion 1 this time. There is a song on Use Your Illusion 1 near the end called Bad Apples that I think is criminally underrated. Like, I... I I'm stunned that most people have never heard uh, this song. And in many ways, it's kind of similar to Breakdown. It's got that honky-tonk aspect to it. Uh, I, I don't think it's got as much country flair or as much bluegrass flair to it. Uh, it's more of a straight rock song. Uh, but again, great lyrics from Axel. Uh, the production on the song is great, as it is across the Usual Illusion Records. Uh, and again... This is another solo from Slash that I can't believe you don't hear more people talk about. It's just a really, really, really great solo from a structure standpoint, but then also the feel uh, that it adds to the song. It's The solo is as angry as the lyrics are, uh, in my opinion, if that makes sense. Uh, the next song that I'm going to tell you to listen to that's a hidden gem from Guns N' Roses is not even on a Guns N' Roses album, uh, or at the time of the filming, it hasn't been included on any Guns N' Roses record. Uh, it's a song from the End of Days soundtrack called Oh My God, and this is the first time that anybody had heard Guns N' Roses music without uh, the people they were familiar with, Matt Sorum and, and uh, Slash and Duff and everybody. And I myself, when this song came out, my my stance on the song for like the first two years it was out was absolutely not, and no thank you. Uh, but over the years, I've listened to it more and more and more, and uh, I have some issues with the production on the song, but the lyrics, I personally think that the song, Oh My God, are some of the best lyrics that Axl Rose has ever written. Um, I absolutely love his voice um, on the way he sings the song. And again, this to me, even though myself and a bunch of people didn't want to listen to it at first, it really shows that music can be made under the Guns N' Roses name uh, outside of uh, the, the original people that we came to know in the band. Uh, the last one actually fits totally into that as well. This is my personal favorite Guns N' Roses song of all time, and it's from the Chinese Democracy record. Uh, it's a song called Better. And again, I think the lyrics here, if you listen to the lyrics on the song, I think they're um, maybe not amongst the greatest lyrics Axel's ever written, but they're far better, uh, more mature lyric than a lot of what he wrote on Use Your Illusion and certainly on Appetite as well. Uh, and again, 
for how this record was recorded over such a long period of time and so disjointed, this is a song that really sounds like a band being put together. Whether or not you want to call it Guns N' Roses, I don't care about that argument. It, it, this is a band of people who sound like a band of people playing a great song together, uh, written by Robin Fink. And again, one of my favorite solos in the history of Guns N' Roses, and it's by uh, Robin Fink. So those are five songs I would tell you are uh, hidden gems from Guns N' Roses. Uh, if you're a fan of the band, Please, by all means, let me know what you think of my picks or, you know, what are five songs you would say to somebody, hey, if you only know Jungle or Paradise City, you know, these are the songs I would tell you to check out. Uh, and by all means, if you're not a GNR fan, check out these songs and see if you like some of what you have on uh, what you have on this list. And uh, maybe some of these songs you'll like more than what you've heard from Guns N' Roses. As I said at the top of the video, please make sure to drop a like on the video. It helps us out. And as we always say, thank you so much for watching.